I was wondering if um, you all could elaborate on how sugar is disguising itself in common foods, like refined grains, for instance. People don't realize, I think, that it turns into sugar in your body. So, um. Yeah, I think that that actually, for me, is one of the key issues that I think a sugar guideline alone actually could be misleading and lead to uh, paradoxic or even unhealthy decisions. And so I think that sugars are clearly, you know, not healthy when they're rapidly digested. Um, you know, naturally occurring sugars in fruit are re very slowly digested, so that's not a, a major issue. But, but uh, the, the challenge is that there's really metabolically a little to no difference between eating a bowl of table sugar or a bowl of Skittles and a bagel and a, a bowl of you know special K or other refined I breakfast. Think people cereals. don't realize yeah. that, and, and, and it's not the same in mm -hmm. most people's minds. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I think the WHO guidelines and the American Heart Association guidelines also don't recognize that. So mm -hmm. I think that that's the danger of focusing on sugars alone. Not that sugars uh, aren't harmful, is that if you look at products, actual products, you know, there's many products that are whole grain. They have nuts. They have you know lots of healthy things in them. They have a little bit of added sugars. Mm -hmm. And then there's many products that have no added sugars, but they're all refined carbohydrates or starches. And so the problem is if we just focus on sugars, you know, then these products that have a little bit of added sugars but are otherwise actually pretty good choices will be viewed as worse choices than, than total refined carbohydrates. And you know, Frank mentioned that added sugars are about 15% of calories. Well, refined grains and, car and, and starches and sugars together are almost half of calories. So 50% mm -hmm. so of, cal of our calories are coming from these poor quality carbohydrates. And, and the reason they're, they're very similar is, as you mentioned, if you eat a bagel mm -hmm. or eat a piece of white bread or white rice or um, you know, most breakfast cereals, in the mouth, immediately, you, know, you start getting digestion. And, and you know, what we uh, learn were complex carbohydrates are just long chains of glucose. So they start breaking into glucose immediately in the mouth. And by the time they get to the stomach, you know, they're rapidly digested and you get identical spikes in, in blood sugar. So, so really not being facetious, most breakfast cereals are like eating a bowl of table sugar. Wow. Um, and, so, and so I think that actually, you know, we should be reducing added sugars in the food supply. But I think the guideline and the reduction should be completely combined with the amount of overall refined carbohydrates in a food.